I'm not sure since when Logitech changed their internal packaging. It used to be a clear transparent plastic wrapper, where we can see the keyboard when we unbox. Not this type of white tissue wrapping paper. Anyway, the real more important thing is the K580 keyboard itself. So this K580 keyboard lets us connect to two devices at one time. One device connected via the supplied USB receiver, and the second device connected via Bluetooth. Or we can connect both devices using Bluetooth without using the USB receiver at all. Let's unwrap the keyboard and take a closer look. This is a very nice slim membrane keyboard that is suitable for those who only have two devices, like a computer and a phone. Most other multi-device keyboards connect to three devices, which can be a bit excessive for some of us. Logitech kept this K580 keyboard design simple, functional, and user-friendly. Following the indicators on the cover, sliding the cover forward and up opens the battery compartment, which also houses the USB receiver. More on this USB dongle later. Of course, we can pull out this tab without opening the cover. Notice, once I pull out the battery barrier tag, the keyboard straight away attempts to connect, indicated by this fast blinking light. I'm very happy to see that Logitech includes its unifying receiver with this K580 keyboard. This means I can connect another device like a Logitech compatible mouse to this same USB unifying receiver. In fact, we can connect up to six different devices using this single unifying receiver. There are three different types of Logitech USB receivers, and I have explained them in my previous video. Follow the link appearing on the top right or in the description down below. Because this is one of the latest Logitech multi-device keyboard, it is compatible with the latest Logitech keyboard software, the Logitech Option Plus. All these buttons are reconfigurable, and this is the long list of actions we can choose from. One of the actions that is newly available in this Logitech Option Plus software is the microphone mute and unmute option. This is very handy when I'm doing video calls. Apart from reconfiguring function keys, this easy switch menu shows us which computer the two multi-device buttons are currently paired with. And these are the rest of the settings we can change. Oh, by the way, there is also a power on-off switch at the top of this keyboard. Like I mentioned earlier, this multi-device keyboard is designed for people who just want to switch between their computer and their phone. And this phone slot is the unique icon design of this K580 keyboard, which I'll discuss in detail later. The list of function keys are pretty standard, starting with the typical phone navigation keys, the media keys, and the dual multi-device switching keys standing out in grey colour, and these six editing keys, the standard insert delete home and pitch up and pitch down keys. Now let's talk about the phone holder slot. This slot is very well designed and functional, measuring at about 1.3 cm in width and roughly about 17 cm in length. The 17cm length should be able to fit most of our phones. This is my Galaxy Note 10, the smaller version, not the Note 10 Plus. It sits quite nicely in there. Now, let's try to pair my phone to this keyboard using Bluetooth. I've got device 1 in pairing mode. When attempting to connect to the keyboard, I was told to enter a passcode. So, I'm typing in the passcode now in the background. And after entering the passcode, it's connected. Let me do some typing demo for you to hear the typing sound. To skip this typing demo, you can skip forward 30 seconds by tapping 4 times on the right side of this video.
and surprisingly, this K580 keyboard phone slot holds my Galaxy Z Fold 4 foldable phone very well. Just look at the tilting angle. It's a nice angle for me to look at the screen while I type. And I can still touch and control the buttons at the bottom. Before I forget, let me mention that this K580 keyboard only has rubber studs at the back meaning the keyboard has only one fixed tilting angle. Now, luckily, they have tilted it at a very comfortable angle for my typing preference. And this is my 2-in-1 Dell laptop stylus. What I'm trying to show is that the phone holder slot of this keyboard can also hold a stylus or a standard size pen very well. And it's pretty easy to retrieve the stylus pen too. And this is not the K580 keyboard that we have been talking about. It's the K470 keyboard which looks really similar, but it's actually a very different keyboard targeted for a different group of users, even though these two keyboards are about the same price range. So click on this video to see my review of this MK470 keyboard mouse combo to make sure you buy the right one for yourself. Like this video to let me know this video is useful and subscribe to my Sky Perspective channel for more of my personal tech gear videos. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.